had experience with the state legislature before, and he believes that this makes him the best candidate for the seat. Next, please welcome Representative Brian Zollinger. <laughs> Mr. Zollinger is the current uh, seat B representative. He was born in Rexburg and attended college at the University of Utah where he studied accounting and Florida, Florida Coastal School of Yaw, Law where he gained a Juris Doctorate. He is married to his wife, Shara, and they have five children. And now for State Senate. Please welcome Mr. David Lent. <laughs> Mr. Lent has lived in, his, in Idaho his entire life. He served on the Board of Trustees for our very own District 91 and was the statewide training manager for the INL. He wishes to strengthen our local economy and improve our educational system. He feels that through the he feels that he represents the community well because of his experience. And last, please welcome Dr. Jared Selke. Jerry Selke, sorry. <laughs> Dr. Selke has a bachelor's degree in biology, master's degrees in entomology and hydrology, and a PhD in water resource law, management, and policy. He feels that through the changing of some existing laws and budgets, all Idahoans can have a higher quality of life with all the with all the commodities that most of us take for granted. We'll now th hand things off to our moderator, Maya Redden, and timekeepers, Tanner Hiltbrand and Danny Jensen. Maya. Thank you, Seth. Welcome to the Idaho District 33 debate. As we have six candidates on stage in approximately one hour, the timing for this debate will have strict rules. Once a question is asked, Two opposing candidates will, have, will each have one minute and 15 seconds to respond. We will then proceed down the line and all other candidates will get 45 seconds to add on to past responses. In the interest of time and political civility, there will be no rebuttals and please do not interrupt other candidates. As seen here, this lighting system will help you with timing your responses. When your time to answer begins, the green light will come on. When you have 15 seconds left, the yellow light will come on. And when you have no time left, the red light will come on, at which point I will have to cut you off. We'd also like to ask the candidates to remain sitting or stand only next to their tables as moving around might affect their microphones. For this beginning question, we will begin with Mr. Selke and then move down the line. Every candidate will have one minute and 30 seconds to answer this question. Why do you believe you are the best person to serve Idaho District 33 and what makes you qualified? Mr. Selke? Yes, thank you uh, to everybody for, uh, for inviting us, uh, to all the students and, and the school for inviting us, and everybody for attending. We really appreciate it. I've uh, lived in Idaho for 33 years. Um, I came here after uh, completing graduate school, and I, I came with the concept of, of just being here for a short amount of time and then heading back home. But then I came and I, I fell in love. My wife and I fell in love with Idaho, and... and um, everything that, that it's presented to us. And, and because of uh, what I've been able to experience here in Idaho and what I've been, ex been able to experience throughout my life, I believe that I have the basis that's needed to have a broad uh, background to be able to, to go through the issues and, and the, the issues that uh, uh, are facing Idaho right now. I come from a, a background where I've served all my life I served in the U.S. military. I learned how to lead and how to work with each uh, with uh, all kinds of people. I uh, went through school and I studied broadly instead of deeply uh, just in a topic. I, I looked broadly and looked at how to tie things together and how to work issues with people and, and how to um, come to consensus with people. I think that because of this background that I have a, a broad background that will um, allow me to both lead and, and uh, work with others to uh, lead Idaho into the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Selke. Mr. Lent? Thanks, and uh, I would also join Jerry in thanking Compass Academy and putting this together. Um, I'm fairly uniquely qualified, probably, to be here tonight. Having, uh, I know they said that I uh, spent my whole life here in Idaho Falls, but actually, my wife and I have lived in seven different states, and traveled doing consulting at uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, currently, I'm the director of training for Floor Idaho at the INL, and I've been on the school board, District 91, for the last 12 years. Uh, those two things really uniquely qualify me for to speak to education in Idaho. And I think that education really, as far as self-reliance is concerned, is the foundational element to uh, self-reliance for our folks. 
Uh, additionally, um, the opportunities to serve uh, on the school board and being an elected official for the last 12 years have taught me a lot about serving in the community and the people of Idaho Falls. Uh, so I look forward to serving. Um, it's a great opportunity, and I think I am uniquely qualified to uh, represent the people, both from an, working at the INL for the last uh, 27 years, and I started actually in 1980 out there. So my experience in working with uh, in nuclear facilities, I've probably worked at almost every facility at the site, uh, as well as a number of commercial nuclear facilities, as well as working on the school board for the last 12 years, really uniquely qualified I me. Mean, I think I represent the people and the values of Idaho Falls. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Lent. Mr. DeAngelis. If you keep going, he will turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Someone is coming up to help you with your pack. Can we pause the time? Okay, you can hear me now. Okay. They had me muted. When I came here in 1991 with my family and my son, my other four kids had already left here, uh, I came here specifically for the outdoors. I'm an outdoors person, backpacker. And having spent 25 years in the United States Navy as a naval officer, enabled me to do several things. First of all, you certainly learn, learn leadership. And you don't make captain of the United States Navy by just sitting around twiddling your thumbs. You learn to lead. You learn teamwork. You're given a mission, and then you have all the team members, and you get the job done. And that's how you advance in the Navy or any part of the military as far as it goes. And it's not just about me. It was about every member of my team being able to advance watching after them, caring about each member of the team, and make sure nobody was ever left behind, either in their career or the mission as far as it goes. You're well familiar with the uh, saying, leave no one behind in the military. It, that, it doesn't apply just to the people out on the battlefield, but it also applies to people within your team. You're always watching after them. You're always watching the mission. When I retired from the Navy, I went on and got my education degree, and I taught high school biology for 10 years. My main priority, and one of the reasons why I think I'm a good candidate for this position is nothing is more important than you, the students. Education is number one. It has to be. Thank you, Mr. Dan. Thank you. Representative Ehart. Thank, thank you very much, and thank you to Compass Academy for hosting this. I was uh, uh, blessed to be able to participate in two of these last year through the mayoral run, and you guys did a fantastic job. Uh, I have been so honored in this unique situation to be able to serve as your state representative. You know, prior to this, I spent four years serving on the Idaho Falls City Council, and gosh, talk about a unique training ground to prepare one for a situation such as state. When I, when I uh, had uh, arrived in Boise, and as we started dealing with the issues before us, I received comments all the time uh, from both parties that were, wherein I was told, gosh, you're not acting like a first-year legislator. And I wasn't such certain what that meant. What that meant, as we continued, is that most of them sat there quietly. I was engaged from the beginning. Why was I engaged? Because the uniqueness of the Idle Falls City Council. We dealt with so many issues, uh, even more so than Boise has an opportunity with which to deal. And so as I look at what's happening with our state, our state is thriving. We are on, we are on an economic uh, prosperity path that we want to keep going. Going. We want to keep this going both as a state and as a nation, and I believe that that is something that I have had a part, well not I believe, I know I've had a part in that. When you want to talk about teamwork, there's no one more uniquely qualified to help with that teamwork, and I think that's another thing that my colleagues appreciated about me up at Boise and be able to bring people together, and that is something I've even done this summer, and I look forward to being able to share more of that with you, and let me just say I am appreciative of Mr. DeAngelis' service. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Ehart. Mr. Morrison. Good evening. I also would like to thank everybody. Um, this is getting to be a, an expected community affair to have a 